loving this. I'm gonna be cute around the house. Like what? Like what, boy? Back up, boy. Don't be touching me. Get off of me. Don't be touching me.
since it was 11.9 it, it was on the lower side it wasn't too low but um it don't disqualify you but they said that since it was 11.9 i had i had to get uh the cell saver which was cool because i wanted the cell saver anyway so the cell saver is uh basically um a machine or tool or whatever you want to call it that they use that separates the fat from the blood and so as they liposuctioning it goes through like this machine and the um blood is separated from the fat but the blood is returned back to you so you get your blood back basically so you won't be um so your hemoglobin won't be too low and you usually you feel better after surgery which i i didn't feel too bad like i felt weak but i think you're gonna feel like that anyway because you going through a major surgery so i felt weak but i was I, I was able like i was up and about i was able to you know move around um it would have really been better for me to vlog everything but first of all i don't have a vlog camera which i need to get one asap second of all i didn't have that much space in my phone and third of all i was just really anxious the whole time like the whole time I just was like, I just gotta get to the next step, get this over with, get this over with, get this over with. So my man wasn't really on vlogging, which I do wish that I would have since since everything went well anyway, but just in my man I just was like I can't focus on vlogging right now. I just couldn't focus on that. Um but from here on out I make sure I, you know, include y'all on everything that I'm doing. So I'm gonna run in here real quick and get my eyebrows did. Um and then I will be back and we gonna see what how they do me. Okay, so I'm back and um it's a no for me, but I can't I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I I want the the Okay. So overall I don't hate my brows, right? But the first time I went to this lady, she did my brows the best I ever had them in my life. So I don't know what the difference is. Like what, what like was it beginner's luck or something? Because now it's like this is my third time going to her. I, I ain't give up on her. This is my third time going to her. And only one time she gave was supposed to be given. So yeah. But whatever. I don't know. I, I mean they better than what they was. And I never really, really like my my brows the same day is like when they when they calm down they're not so swollen or whatever i end up liking them better the next day but she didn't really she didn't do me right today but that's okay that's okay they look better than what they was so i just have to i have to convince myself but anyway so um i got on this faha let me show you guys that's not my boob that's my um shirt so y'all so i got this faja on whoops and it's uncomfortable i really should be on this last hook right here i should really be on this i should really be on this third hook but i didn't feel i knew i had to do a lot of moving around today so i didn't feel like being on that i didn't feel like being on the third hook um but i have so it, basically, I didn't feel like being too uncomfortable. So I have an ab board right here. I have to wear my ab board for six weeks. And I got foams on the sides, on both sides, and one in the back. So this is how your girl sitting right now. So it's uncomfortable than a mother effer. It's so uncomfortable. I don't, I cannot stand wearing my faja. Like it's like a. A love hate relationship because you have to wear it, it help you feel better, but it's so uncomfortable, especially when you gotta move around and do a lot of stuff. It's just difficult. So I'm in that. I feel like this is kind of all over the place. I gotta get my stuff together so I can just basically give y'all a rundown on everything. But um, so next stop is I gotta go to City Trends. I'm going to City Trends because I need to get um some cheap scrubs because i want my scrubs to fit loose so that the people that i work with they nosy child so they won't see my faja because your faja show a lot and like my the faja make your butt look weird too 
so I don't want to be walking around looking like that so I need to go buy some new scrubs and I'm going to City Trends because they have cheap scrubs and I usually like to pay at least $40 for my scrub sets because you know they last longer and they just be more comfortable when you spend a little money on them but since I'm just doing this for the time being until I heal enough to have my regular scrubs again I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on no whole brand new scrubs and um and I just need them to fit loose like I don't want to buy large larger scrubs than what I usually wear that's going to be more expensive so city trends usually have like cheaper um cheaper price scrubs so I'm gonna go ahead and go up in there and um maybe get about five or six pairs something like that and then after that I'm going back home that's gonna be it uh, bear with me y'all because I'm not used to doing vlogs and stuff like that. I want to vlog more. I'm I'm into vlogs. I love watching the vlogs. I'm like, I should start vlogging like that. So, but bear with me. I promise y'all as I go, I'm going to get better at it. Um, but I don't care. I'm grateful for if it's two views, 2,000 views, whatever. I'm grateful for it. But I just want y'all to know to please bear with me. And I am going to do better and get better at doing you know these type of vlogs and stuff like that i'm gonna get better um so i check back in with y'all after that um so if you want to know all of what i did my first round surgery you can just um watch my previous videos i'll link them down below i think i have like two or three like surgery maybe like three i don't know like three surgery related videos so i'll link them all down below if y'all want to see because i went to the i went to the dominican republic to get my first round so I did a whole lot then, baby. Okay. But um, I didn't vlog that either because that was extremely nerve-wracking. Like I was in a whole other country. The language barrier, I do not speak Spanish, child. I know like maybe 20 words in Spanish. That. So I'm like, I was scared. I was just hoping to make it back alive. I ain't gonna lie. So I was not thinking about vlogging. I wasn't thinking about none of that. But um, so yeah. But anyway, so um i will check back in with y'all after that what's up lovers so i'm back with a little quick trial haul i went to city trends just trying to get um some scrubs that was a fail i gotta actually take them back because i bought them all in a large and they is not true to size they super super small so i need to take them back so i need to take them back and get uh larger size like way larger size but girl while i was there i saw some cute little two-piece um sleep sets and they they was soft like when i felt them I'm like, okay well they probably a little cheap but when i felt them they was like real soft i was like oh my goodness okay let me see what this is about then i looked at the price it's only 6.99 for this for two-piece sets i was like okay city trans period so i was just trying this on for y'all this is cute just lounging around the house and, and i want to show y'all my uh stomach too excuse this part like i'm still real i'm swollen anyway but i'm still super swollen like down here um they ha i have three little incisions down here where he went in i guess to get the like fat from the lower part of my abdomen so i'm still real swollen down here but um but yeah i want to show y'all how i'm looking and I got this little AirPod uh, earpiece in here because I want my belly button to stay round. But um, I'm still bruised, super itchy, and, um, you know, just feel really weird. But I want to show y'all this, how I'm looking already. Like, I'm not even two weeks post-op, and I'm still very happy with my results already, girl. I'm gonna be cute walking around the house. And I got one more, let me show y'all the other one. So this is the, so this is the other one. Excuse me, sorry about my nipples, y'all. You know how it is when you just change and it's cold a little bit. But, um, ooh, child, this lipo itch is something else. But anyway, so um, it's just this cute little jersey um two piece set ain't this cute it's so soft i cannot believe city trans got nice little pj sets like this 
It's so sour, girl. It feel good. I'm loving this. I'm gonna be cute around the house. Like what? Like what, boy? Back up, boy. Don't be touching me. Get off of me. Don't be touching me. This is cute. Got the butt looking good. All right, so I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. I'm finna get back in my fire because I'm already starting to swell and be lumpy. So I'll be back with y'all in a second. because the noodles is thicker um so i just had that and a little bit of fried rice shrimp fried rice um y'all saw me eating standing up because i was rushing do y'all ever do that y'all like you know you gotta go so you think standing up <laughs> gonna make the process go quicker and it don't but um so yeah i was uh, um trying to hurry up and eat something put some on my stomach and run out because um my sissy i gotta go help my sister um, so I told I was going to be on my way, so I'm, I took forever, of course, um, because I had to do all the running around earlier. So, um, I'm on my way to get her, and then, um, I don't think I'm going to do too much of nothing tonight. I'm probably just going to chill out, relax, because I've been doing a lot of running around and moving around today. But, um, so yeah, I'm, and plus it's just more difficult being stuffed in this faja running around doing stuff first of all you don't even like look cute you look weird like your body looks great when you take the faja off but when you wearing the faja you just look weird your butt look weird you look stuffed you just look big you look like bigger than what you actually is um so it's just weird and uncomfortable and just a frustrating process but you know it's best compression is best for healing you know so you heal faster and better when you compress so it is what it is you just, you just got to be uncomfortable and do what you got to do at the end of the day what can you do but i'm so damn irritated with these scrubs like i would do all of that first of all i better know what that receipt is because if the receipt not even in the bag i know she gave it to me but i don't even know what the hell i did with it hopefully i threw it in my purse or something i don't know what is he doing with this big ass clunk of junk? They be getting my damn nerves. Get out of here. What's wrong with you? These people, Houston people be rude. It's like the driving, people just rude out here. Oh no, this is too much. I need a chauffeur. Oh, I just need a chauffeur to make all my driving problems go away. Hmm. So, yeah, but anyway, so that's it. Um, these vlogs, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have y'all follow this journey with me of my healing and everything. But my energy is low. You know, like people even go through like a little bit of depression after surgery. Like I felt it slightly. It wasn't deep. Like last time when I had my mommy makeover, I was just really like feeling depressed. But this time, it's just like a little bit, little bit. So my energy is not the same as it is every day or like usually when I'm in YouTube or making vlogs and stuff like that. My energy is usually a lot better. But since your girl is like basically in, in the healing stages, it's not easy. Like people always be talking about how surgery is the easy way out. Baby, it's not it's not <laughs> okay i mean yeah you, you know you work out you work hard or whatever i'm not taking nothing from people that work out yes it's hard to work out it takes 
like motivation and all of that stuff but baby surgery is not no easy thing to deal with to play with to heal from like it's like one of them things where you do it because you have to like you get your surgery you start healing and all of that stuff because you don't have no other choice but it's not an easy thing it's not even an easy decision to make especially when you have kids you worry because not everybody make it out of surgery people go go under the knife and unfortunately they don't make it so all of it yeah i mean at the end of the day you can say that it's selfish that you still choose to do it when you have kids because it's a risk but that's where you do your research you make sure you choose a doctor that is good you choose a doctor that's great you know you choose a doctor that is board certified you know what i mean so baby it's not easy it's a lot it's not the easy way out because you see a lot of people they maintain their resort results they maintain their results by getting in a gym so yeah they they definitely we definitely take a shortcut absolutely but we still we still in it for the long haul and we want to improve our results and we want to keep our results we still have to do we got to do at the end of the day but yes anyway so i pulled up to pick up my sissy i'm done rambling with that um so yeah i i will come back on here later on i don't think i'm gonna do nothing but just curl up with the kids and the hubby and maybe watch the movie and excuse my hair at some point i'm gonna do something to it i i'm waiting on at least i can have my baby hairs together child i could do that at least but i'm waiting on my little edge control and hopefully it, it come through real soon and um i don't have to be looking too crazy on these vlogs like this because i'm not tra i'm not doing my braids over no time soon baby like it is what it is like it's i don't have the energy i don't have the stamina right now to be doing my hair and i can't sit in nobody's chair in this faha for hours and hours so it is what it is and then i'm gonna uh, check back in with y'all later what's up lovers so it's um the next it's the next day um so i'm on the way now to get my massage i'm gonna pick my sissy up and um she gonna come with me um but yes I'm on the way to get my massage. This is gonna be my tenth massage. Yeah, I, I got my. T I'm getting my tenth massage today, and then um, I have three more in the package uh, that I purchased. So I have a total of thirteen massages. So I might be done after that. I probably just, of course, do like maintenance massages where I do um, like one every like like maybe two a month or something like that. Maybe something like that. So yeah, I don't think I, that I need many more anyway because she said that I'm healing well. Um, my work looks good. The lipo, um, where you know everywhere in the abdomen and sides and back where they did lipo looks good and it's healing well. So I don't think that I'm gonna need um, many more massages. So that's good. So yeah, I'm about to pull up soon. So I will hit y'all back in a minute. what's up lovers so um i'm back i'm done from getting my massage i'm almost on my way home i ended up uh stopping by city trends again um to exchange my scrubs out because they was way too small they run real small i asked the lady about it she just said that all of their clothes run small so i was like okay so i ended up getting a 2x like 2x that's how big i went but like i said i need to camouflage this faja because it just i look bulky and just you know it just look weird so 
I went there, got that. I got some more stuff too. I'm pro I might just do like a little mini haul of everything that I got. Um, I'm changing the color in my bedroom. I want to go with a sage color like that. It's like a sage greeny color. I don't know. It is real cute. So my mama picked that out. She um, told me about the color and I was like, ooh. So she showed me and I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. And I usually don't like green, but like this is this color just it my mama be knowing though she like really like very good with decor and everything so she already knew so yeah so um so yeah when i get home i'll probably just do like a little mini haul and show y'all what i got i didn't get a whole bunch of stuff i'm not trying to go in there and go crazy or nothing because it's easy too because the price is so good it's just easy to like and the stuff don't feel cheap you know it looks really nice so i'm like shoot so, yeah, but anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm finna get to the house, and then, um, I'll just talk to y'all when I get to the crib. What's up, lovers? Okay, so I'm back home. Um, I was on my way home when I last talked to y'all. So I'm back home. I'm finna get ready to go to bed. I'm taking an hour break from my Faha, so that's why I'm in this robe. I got this robe from Amazon. It's nice and soft um i love this robe it's so comfortable on my skin my skin is still real sensitive so i like to have something nice and soft up against me when i'm taking my hour break from my faja but um yeah so i'm super super tired i'm gonna lay down um i feel kind of exhausted because i've been moving around a lot so of course i'm still healing so i'm gonna feel tired you know a lot easier than i normally do um so but i want to come and show y'all the stuff that i got i told y'all i was gonna do a little haul so i'm gonna show y'all the stuff that i got um whew, and i'm looking so tired too like i look it but like that's the thing like when you healing like from surgery like you just don't you really don't even like look like yourself like you swollen everywhere like my face is swollen my hands they better now but they were swollen like the first week my feet and ankles were swollen all of that like it just be a mess when you healing but one day at a time so it's fat i'm getting now but um anyway so um so i just wanted to show y'all what i got from city trends and um when I got home, I had a couple packages from Amazon. I'm still waiting on a few more things to come in from Amazon, but I figured I would just show y'all what I got from Amazon while I'm doing this or whatever. Um, nothing special though, but so the first thing I got is just some white hangers. Um, just a box of hangers. I didn't feel like going to Walmart to pick them up, so I just ordered them off Amazon. Um, I want to do like some closet organization. Like I got a pretty large closet, so... Um, what I'm going to end up doing is, um, I'll probably end up doing like a closet tour and stuff like that at some point, but it's just so much room that it's just kind of like stuff is all over the place. And like, I'm not a very organized person. Like, I'm just not one of those people. I want to do better and just have like a place for everything, but I'm not really like that. So, but I'm trying to have my closet to be nice and organized and just get it together so it could just look real nice. It's pretty huge. So I want to. I want to say huge, but it's a large walk-in closet. So I want to have some pretty good organization in there. So it can look nice and pretty and stuff. So I just got that. And then this other thing that I got is like this box to keep all of my important documents in. Um, so this helped with my organization also because like when my when I was when I was younger, my mom had like a box like this to keep all our important stuff in. And usually, like, I'm scrambling around look, looking for all my important documents and all of that. So, it just clicked to me, like, just do what mommy do and get a dang on box. So, I ordered this on Amazon, too. Um, so, I'm going to make sure I put all of my important stuff in there just to keep it all in one spot. Then, I just got these cute pillows. I'm changing the color of my um, bedroom to sage, like, this cute it's it's like green but it's called sage so i'm gonna change um the color of my bedroom to this color so i saw these at city trends and so i was like oh let me get these it's gonna be perfect it's just gonna be the first item that i get um 
to match that's gonna go for the color that I'm going with. So I thought these was real cute. And they was pretty cheap. I think they was only like $7 for two, so that's good. And they feel good, nice and soft. And then I ended up getting these cute towels that's kind of like in the sage color and then like a, like a light green color. Like a, I don't know if it's, it's not mint. What is that? I don't know, but it's real like a pastel green. It's real cute. So I thought this would be cute to add like a little decorative because I'm going to end up doing the same colors in my bathroom too. So I got those. Um, and these is pretty cheap. I think this is like $3. Um, I just got the girls a new shower curtain for their bathroom. They love Frozen and their bathroom is like pink anyway. So I was like, oh, this is cute. And it was only like, it's only $4. This is only $3.99. I was like, let me get that for them. They're going to be excited. I didn't tell them about it because they're going to bug me to put it up. So I didn't tell them about it yet. But I'll let them know tomorrow. Then I ended up getting this cute. I'm sure it's not real silk, but it's like satin, I guess you want to call it. It's a cute little satin robe. I love, like I said, nice soft material on my skin, especially now since I'm healing from this surgery. So I thought this is real cute. And this is cute. This is only, this was only $8.99. And then the next thing I got was this cute three-piece set. Oops. So it's a robe that's so soft like so freaking soft it's cute i like this pattern and i like the color and then it came with this uh pajama set it's like shirt like a little tank top and some shorts to go with it ain't that cute girl it's so cute so um this was only 16 dollars. so that's real good for a whole Three piece set. That's real good. And in this bag, I just got all of my scrubs. I ain't gonna go through all of these, but just to show y'all some of the colors that I got. So I just got this color. What is this called? Teal? I don't know. No, it's not called teal. I don't know. I forgot the color, but I like this color. I got some baby blue, light blue, whatever you want to call it. I got just basic black. And um, I got some purple ones. So I'll probably get some more, but they didn't have any more in my size. Well, the size that I needed. So I'll probably end up getting uh, more. I'll go back and get some more. And the last few items I got, I just got this cute little baby tee. It's a Jordan shirt. I got some um, Jordans that'll go real good with this color right here. And then of course, obviously, I can just get any color Jordan to go with these. But um, since I already got the red and white, um, I think they, I forgot, I don't know the numbers like that. I just get whichever ones I like, but they red and white. And they go cute with this. I probably have to take a cute Instagram picture, like a cute little sporty Instagram picture or something. And they got the um, Jordan logo on the arm, on the sleeve. It's just in red, it's cute. So that was only like, how much was this? This one was cheap, this was only $10, y'all. And this is like real Jordan. That's a real Jordan shirt. That's cute. And then the next thing I got, I think this would be real cute on my skin. Um, but anyway, so it's just like a two-piece set. It's like a crop top. It's nice and soft. It does not feel cheap or don't look cheap at all. Like, if it's nice. And this was only $13 for this set. And then I just got the pants to match. I'm be looking real thick up in that girl period the next thing is similar i like the color similar color um it's just like this netted um two-piece set it's real cute i need to take like a vacation i want to go to cancun for my birthday i'm not sure if i'm gonna go but i want to go to cancun for my birthday if so i will definitely be wearing this out there and the last part to it is just this little spaghetti strap tie at the top, whatever you want to call it. I just thought that was cute, girl. It's cute. It's too cute. 
But yeah, that's all I got on this little haul, on this little um, City Trends slash Amazon haul. I just wanted to show y'all that. I'm going to end up ending this vlog. I'm going to get back in my Faha because I'm swelling so bad already. But shoot, they said I can take an hour break. I've taken my hour break. But you do feel a lot better when you uh, compress. You do feel a lot better. It's not that tight, swollen, itchy feeling and stuff. So... I have my little break, y'all, so I'm going to get back in there, and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It's free. Um, follow me on this journey to heal. I will be posting more videos. I do want to, like, vlog a lot more. So, yeah, I would like to do weekly vlogs more often. But, yeah, so, anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. My comments should be enabled again. Um, but don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all so much, lovers. I love y'all. Have a good day. Thank you for loving me.